Sixth-generation fighter aircraft programs are some of the most fascinating and classified weapon development projects in the aviation business. They largely belong to two categories, those that have been publicly published and those that we know very little about. While the Chinese and Russian projects fall into the second group, those in development in Japan and Europe belong to the first. But the United States' next-generation air dominance NGAD program is somewhere in between. Its time frame and costs are continuously discussed, and the U.S. Air Force USAF, even announced that it had flown a prototype of the jet. However, in contrast to the Tempest, the FCAS or the FX, the U.S. has released relatively little in terms of features or even the look of the aircraft. That is, unless we consider concept art, and 3D representations of the NGAD. While there is clearly an excess of thoughts out there, they are all different. A system of systems. There are various explanations for these variances. Firstly, there are two initiatives referred to as NGAD, one which is managed by the USAF, and another by the US Navy, USN, USN. Both view the fighter jet of the future not as a solitary aircraft, but as a system of systems, a collection of diverse aircraft executing different missions as a team. While a manned fighter jet remains at the core of this system, most of the real offensive potential rests on a swarm of drones of different shapes and sizes commanded by the plane. And while recent reports indicate that this new technique has at least been largely abandoned for the USAF's NGAD program, the procurement procedure for the service's sixth-generation fighter still varies from the ways fifth and fourth-generation planes were picked. Additionally, a number of firms are presently working on these initiatives. The Pentagon scrapped its traditional purchase procedure in favor of engaging corporations to carry out distinct tasks, such as creating specialized components or subsystems. The result? An avalanche of concept art with many of the participating firms giving their own ideas of the NGAD, focusing on the portions of the system they are responsible for creating and frequently neglecting everything else. So, what have these firms proposed? And what can we figure out about the NGAD just by glancing at these images? Northrop Grumman's Laser Toting Flying Wing The first concept images of a sixth-generation fighter jet, credited to Northrop Grumman, predate the NGAD program altogether. They may be traced back to at least 2009 and depict a tailless twin-engine airplane armed with a direct energy weapon, while the photographs could have some link to research activities carried out at the time. There is just not enough background to assess if the corporation was seriously involved in sixth-generation planes back then. However, those early photographs exhibit some similarities to the depiction published by the business in 2015, barely a year after the NGAD initiative was launched. The illustration featured a tailless blended wing-body aircraft blasting a laser at approaching missiles. The subject of direct energy weaponry was preserved from the picture published in 2009, and the general design was quite similar. However, this new depiction was a genuine piece of concept art rather than a placeholder designed to mimic a laser weapon. The jet was tailless with air intakes behind the cockpit, an odd arrangement at best. This looks a lot like a baby B-2, and this is really getting into our sweet spot. Chris Hernandez, Northrop Vice President for Research, remarked at the time. However, the artwork looks to be extremely stylized and gives little detail. A year later, the business launched a follow-up to its prior concept, a TV ad named Just Wait, which developed on the design. It depicted three aircraft flying in a formation, and they looked a lot like photorealistic representations of the prior picture, with two afterburning engines, a single pilot cockpit, and delta wings. In 2021, the concept was resurrected, this time in another Northrop Grumman advertising video. It displayed a hangar full of computer-generated models of potential airplanes, which the business looked to be working on. And in the forefront, a recognizable form was plainly seen. Besides numerous commonalities, the current model differs drastically from its predecessors. 
The air intakes seem wider and are positioned further back from the cockpit, and the nose of the aircraft is significantly beefier in contrast with the previous, sleeker variant. It is definitely a distinct iteration of the model. While it has preserved the same aerodynamic system, it also has a completely new airframe. However, these adjustments look minimal when compared to the changes in strategy made by other organizations throughout the years. Lockheed Martin's two sixth-gen aircraft. Lockheed Martin's sixth-generation fighter jet concept drawing also predates the NGAD. A particularly famous occurrence is the company's 2012 calendar, which featured a concept drawing of a next-generation fighter. It was credited to Skunk Works, Lockheed Martin's clandestine advanced design group, and looked a lot like the YF-23, Northrop Grumman's fifth-generation jet concept, which lost the advanced tactical fighter competition to the F-22 in 1991. The same concept later appeared in other promotional movies, most notably the 2017 video Skunk Works, on the path to 75 years of innovation, which presented the most thorough glimpse of the design thus far. The corporation has not openly tied the design with the NGAD program, just referring to it as Tomorrow's Fighter. However, given there is no other sixth-generation fighter aircraft program now in development in the US, it appears probable that a link might be established. It must be highlighted that out of all sixth-generation fighter ideas presented by US-based corporations, this is most similar to those designed outside of the United States. Europe's FCAS, Japan's FX, as well as the Tempest, built by a UK-centered team, all include tails with just vertical surfaces. However, this is not the only agreement being studied by Lockheed Martin. The corporation shared another concept image, which is strikingly evocative of the flying wing developed by Northrop Grumman. The above image began to make the rounds at the same time as the Skunk Works design, and is thought to have initially emerged as a concept sketch of the F-AXX, the U.S. Navy's forerunner to the NGAD. The USN started the F-AXX program in 2012, arguably the world's first endeavor to obtain a sixth-generation fighter jet split into many initiatives rather than resulting in the procurement of an actual aircraft. Lockheed Martin and Boeing were the program's two principal participants and presumably carried their suggestions over when the Navy launched its NGAD endeavor. Boeing's lineage of naval fighters. Boeing released a huge range of artwork linked with the NGAD. While all of these notions looked to be identical at first glance, they were also significantly distinct. Most of these photographs were brought over from the days of the F slash AAXX. During 2008 to 2010, the business issued a series of concept renderings showcasing tailless carrier-borne aircraft. Some of them were not extremely detailed, while others had a considerable degree of creative vision behind them. It should be emphasized that while Boeing's drawings were extensively utilized by various media outlets to describe the F slash AXX and the NGAD, they also prepared the basis for another form of presentation. These were designs developed by freelance artists, which were later mistaken with Boeing's own designs by laymen and specialists alike. While this is not a unique event, it is especially frequent when it comes to the NGAD. For example, many of its renderings, both official and unofficial, were produced by prominent Argentinian industrial artist, Rodrigo Avella, a guy who may be considered to have been singularly responsible for how we envision the NGAD today. Avella claimed in an email to Aerotime that he has never cooperated with any of the firms working on the NGAD, but it is possible that some of them have bought his paintings from internet retailers. Sometimes, as with the case of his cover of Popular Mechanics, Avella's photographs were used purposefully and with a legitimate indication of authorship, but there have been cases where even the more major aviation sources have credited these images to other firms, such as Boeing. However, when delivering news and announcements regarding its advanced weapon systems, Boeing continues to virtually exclusively employ photos from the f aaxx era, with very few exceptions. One such instance emerged in 2016, when Boeing revealed a fresh concept picture of a sixth-generation airplane floating in the skies. 
Upon closer scrutiny, it looks to be a slightly modified older photo, with the color altered and the canards removed. Does it indicate the shift of vision, or is it just a placeholder rapidly thrown together by one of company's artists? Only Boeing knows the solution.